Okay, so I saw Ski Hound's video with uh, Mr. Just Call Me Henry, and they said something about Windows Movie Maker and how you can, you know, not get the black borders and all that. So basically what uh, Ski Hound had said was that what you could do is just render the video with just the background and then put the pictures on top. Let's test that out. And let's not just test it out with the latest movie maker, let's test it out with every single one of them. Just, just to see if it works. Okay? Okay. Cool. Okay, so this is the Windows Movie Maker thingamabobber. Right, 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 right there. Okay, so the operating system are operating systems are as follows. Windows 8 to Windows 7 to, to, to RT 8.1 to RT Vista and XP. Let's try Windows XP. Uh, well, let's try Windows Vista. Well, try Windows RT 8.1 and Windows RT. Yeah, I guess the only one left is 8.1, 8, and 7. Perfect. Oh, hey, cool! Okay, so here is Windows Movie Maker 12, the latest in the whole series of Windows Movie Makers. Now, I've used Windows 2.6 before, and the problem was that it only had one timeline. And with that timeline, you could only put one image on top, either video or the pictures that you wanted to put on. And unfortunately, since 2.6 is no longer, well, working on my computer and all that, I can't really you know, give a hard evidence on that and shit, so I'm sorry, but to those who have used Windows 2.6, I'm pretty sure that maybe someone could, you know, vouch for me on that. And the other problem with 2.6 was that even if you were to render the, the uh, video over and over again, the quality of it would decrease significantly. If you want a good example of that, I do actually have a final result of that. So you guys remember my commentary on Maverick, one of the first videos that I did when I just got back, right? All right, so to kind of give an idea, can you read that text? Yeah, me neither. That's a result of Windows Movie Maker 2.6. Rendering it over and over. Basically taking the video that Maverick did, which was also from a piss poor quality kind of freaking video editing software on its own right, and then 2.6 taking that and mucking it up even further. Thankfully the video had some narration to it, so that saved my ass, but the problem was you still couldn't read the fucking text. Yeah. 2.6 was a bitch. But hey, I mean, you know, Windows Movie Maker 12, I mean, that, that could possibly work, right? Right? Okay. So, let's just give that a try, shall we? Okay, so thankfully I have a couple of backgrounds. Let's, let's start with a background that I have already saved up. Yeah, that'll work. And let's go with uh, maybe a little bit of audio. Boop. Okay, so there's a little bit of that, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> so let's just play the video for good measure. You can hear the music through my headphones. Yep. So overall, that that seems pretty simple. So let's just uh, let's just maybe see if we can extend the video just a tad bit. Uh, just a tad bit. 
well, maybe if, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. <sighs> oh, here we go. Fits some music. Okay. Yeah, that can work. It'll play the whole song, but, I mean, you know, it's only, like, fixed... I, I, I guess you can't do fixed portions of freaking audio in this version. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can, and I'm just being a dumb fuck. But hey, I mean, you know, shit happens. So, let's at least take this as a test and save it. Yep, save is my movie. Okay. And save movie to computer. Save it as my movie. When you wish upon a me, All right, cool. So let's take that video and uh, let's see if we can do exactly what it was that freaking uh, Ski Hound said and see if we can possibly get a little bit of results here. All right. Okay, so um, add videos and pictures. Let's go with the uh, picture over here. Any picture at all. Uh, I feel like using this one. Oh. That's um not working. Okay. Well, let's let's try something different. Maybe this one. Yeah, okay, that works. Look, see, right there. No caution sign at all. All right, so let's see if we can plaster this right onto the, 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 the thing. Right onto the thing. Um. Hmm. Thumbnail? No. How do you work? I've been so used to 2.6 for so long. This is what happens. God fucking damn it, I am old. Can, can I move this places? Hey, I can. Okay, that's kind of cool. But here's the problem. Blackboards are still there. And there's no background either. What can I do to fix that? I can't physically take it and put it on top. I can't, can't move it like that. Not like on other fancy schmancy programs like Camtasia. God damn it, why are you gonna be so fucking expensive? Huh. Yeah, um, Ski, I don't think it works. I could be completely wrong, but from what I have tested, 
It doesn't work. Okay, so, well, at least Ski Hound was right about one thing. No black borders in sight. Black borders, woo!